Today's video is very important as I'm going to cover two things. First, why Toronto home prices keep going up. And the second thing is interest rates. At the end, I'm gonna show you a source, your one-stop source to get all the information that you need about Toronto's real estate market. Hey everyone, this is Ari Armani, Toronto real estate agent. And today I'm gonna start with home prices in Toronto. Average home price in Toronto went up by 19.3% to $1,155,000. Why? Let's check out the numbers. Before we start reviewing the numbers, I'm gonna show you your one-stop source to get all the information that you need about Toronto's real estate market. Go to torealestateagent.com. On top of the page, you see the market tab. Click on the market tab. On this page, you're gonna have tools and information. And most importantly, you have the historical charts of Toronto real estate market since 1996. You can scroll up and down and look at the data and analyze the charts even on your own. Let's look at the first chart, which are the average home prices in Toronto. All right, as you can see from uh, the chart uh, starts from 1996 up to now, the past month, 31st of October, which the numbers are out from Toronto real estate market. The most important button in this chart is the button that says one year. Click on that button and then you can compare what has happening in the past 12 months and how was the market looking like a year exactly a year before now all right we're gonna click on one year and you see that right now basically the data that we get from toronto research board on the 31st of october end of october the average home price in toronto has gone up to one million one hundred fifty five thousand dollars as you can see we are looking at one year data when you look at exactly a year ago 31st of october 2020 the average home price in toronto has been nine hundred sixty eight thousand dollars so this is almost 19.3 percent increase in prices in just one year and remember, this is just the data about the average home prices. It's the combination of condos, semi-detached, detached townhouses, and all the properties that have been sold in Toronto's real estate board. All right, let's scroll down and look at the other numbers. As you can see, this says that all property types, and you can also choose whatever chart that you wanna see from here. Either you wanna see the condos or detached houses or all property types. Right now we are at all property types. Year to date and one year. The one thing that I want you to pay attention to is this chart that I'm showing you right now. This chart is literally one of the main reasons that the prices in Toronto has been going up and up and up. Of course, there has been other reasons to it as well. And there has been like basically other factors that caused this to happen, which I'm gonna cover a little later on in the video. But you can find the full details about those factors and things that are affecting Toronto's real estate market in this article below. All right, let's look at the chart now. The chart that I was talking about is active listings. Active listings in 31st of October 2020 has been over 17,000 active listings. And look at the active listings right now. Active listings right now is about 7,700. So as you can see, it's more than 55% drop in the number of active listings in Toronto. So that literally means that the inventory is shrinking day by day. All right, check it out. Last year, January and February, March, we had a shortage of inventory. And then back into the May, we got more inventory coming back to the market. We went over 12,000 listings. And then May onward, the inventory started to shrink again. You can see the correlation between the supply and demand in the next chart, which we call it month of inventory. Let's look at the next chart. Month of inventory in Toronto last year, exactly a year from now, has been 1.6 month of inventory, which is also a seller's market. And look at the month of inventory during the year. And right now, right now, month of inventory is almost point eight month of inventory, which is a very tight seller's market. Now, if you want to see the correlation between the month of inventory and number of listings, you can go back up and look at our first chart. Let's scroll up. All right, let's look at the month of inventory in 31st of March, 2020, which was 0.7 month of inventory. And as you can see, the correlation between the month of inventory and prices is a reverse correlation. What does that mean? That means that as low as the month of inventory goes, as higher the prices go. You can see the price movement from uh, October to January to March 2021 where the month of inventory was as its lowest. Down in this article I explained that why the number of sales dropped by 7% and yet the prices have been skyrocketing. Again that's because the number of supply or number of active listings dropped by 55% more than double. I call that supply squeeze. So literally the supply squeeze cause the demand or the buyers that are out there to bid on the current supply. So the supply squeeze caused that the demand, which are the buyers out there, bid on the standing supply and that caused the prices to go up. 
so far we have identified the first factor that caused the prices to go up in Toronto and that was supply squeeze. The second factor is CPI which is consumer price index or you might know that as inflation. The nominal CPI has been 4.4%. I'm not going to dig into that numbers and the details behind it but as a general rule people use real estate to hedge against inflation. So real estate growth compared to nominal inflation brings some investors to put their money into real estate in order to hedge against inflation. So hedge against inflation was the second factor. The third factor in my opinion is the cheap cost of borrowing money. What that means is that we have historically low interest rates which there are news that it's gonna increase in 2022. So so far we reviewed three factors about Toronto real estate market and the reasons that caused the prices to go up. Let's review them again. First, supply squeeze. Second, inflation, because real estate is being used as a hedge against inflation. Third, historically low interest rates, which most probably is going to be going up next year. Well, down below in this article, there's a chart that I started to collect the data from the first month of the lockdown, the pandemic lockdown. You can go through it. Let's scroll down. All right, and also here you can subscribe to my newsletter. Let's close it now. All right, let's take a quick look at Toronto condo market, which in my opinion are so undervalued at this point. If you remember at the beginning of lockdown, everybody wanted to buy a house. So freehold market was on fire. And basically we didn't have any kind of a slowdown in the freehold market, which are like townhouses, houses, semi-detached, like detached houses. But Toronto condo market experienced a little bit of a slowdown and the prices were going down for a little bit. And right now the gap between the condo market and detached market is getting close to $1 million. And that's a huge gap. So historically the condo market has to move up a little bit to close down that gap. All right, let's look at the charts here. Click on one year and you can see the condo market since last October. If you can see there was a dip up to January, February and then in March the prices started going up and up and up again. Right now the average condo in Toronto is over $700,000. Let's look at the supply. As you can see active listings and the amount of inventory also in condo market is shrinking. Last year we had over 7,600 condo listings in the market. Right now we have 3,400 condo listings in the market. And consequently the month of inventory is shrinking. Last year month of inventory was about 3.4 month of inventory at the same time. Now the month of inventory in condo sector is almost 1.2 month of inventory which is a seller's market. Let's just scroll down and take a look at the detached market. As you can see the detached market has been on fire. Average detached home price in Toronto has been up 27 percent year over year. Let's look at the data. All right uh, go to the chart to the Toronto detached houses and click on one year. You can see last year, the average price of a detached house in Toronto has been $1.2 million. Right now, the average price of a detached house in Toronto is $1,540,000. And that is the average detached house in Toronto Real Estate Board. In the city of Toronto, 416 area, the average detached house is even more expensive. As you can see in this article, the average detached house in Toronto, in the city of Toronto, 416 area, is almost $1.8 million. Look at this here. Let's go look at the month of inventory for detached homes. When you scroll down, you can see that the whole time, the, the past one year, detached home buyers have had difficulty securing a place. And you can see that from month of inventory, which is the relationship between supply and demand. The average month of inventory in Toronto in the detached home market, for the most part, has been under one month of inventory. Or right, as you could see, the month of inventory for detached homes in Toronto, for the most part, has been around one month of inventory or less than one month of inventory, which is the tight seller's market. Semi-detached properties and townhouses also went up respectively. 14.4% and 23.5% for townhouses. All right, let's wrap it up. If you're a home buyer, you might face a little bit of difficulty in this market. For that reason, make sure to consult with your real estate agent, with your mortgage broker, and be ready for these kind of markets. Like always, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If this video brought any kind of value to you, hit that like button and subscribe to my channels. Have a great day. Bye.